Hi, this is Kara, and I'm here with my very first design team project for Tsunami Rose. I am so excited. I love, 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 love her digital kits. Uh, the one I'm working with this month is Charming Fragments 2. It's a revamp of Charming Fragments 1, which was one of her first digital kits that she had in her Etsy shop. I am super excited. Uh, this is a pretty big journal. <laughs> Let's dive in. All right, so this is a fabric cover uh, that I made. I found some fun floral fabric. And then the flowers in this kit are so fun. So here's one of the images and my brother Design and Cut actually did a great job cutting this flower out. I was very, very pleased. I love all the collage look of, it's kind of my style, collage look, <laughs> I feel. So it was really fun to work with this kit. Um, all the bright colors, just really fun. This is a, did I say this, a two signature journal. So here is a lace flip, some scrapbook paper, more of her kit. I made a little tuck with some book pages. Uh, copy dyed paper, music sheet, and then added some lace to one of her pages. More florals, It'd be a tuck. And then I made a uh, Patricia Ferramonti, I think is how you say her last name, one of her uh, book page envelopes. And I tucked some ephemera in the bottom. And then it's a double pocket with some more ephemera from the kit. Did some sewing, and there's a flip. And this is some tracing paper. I love that sound, I love it. Some scrapbook paper that I thought went well, and I added some seam binding. And then on this page, the scrapbook paper had this banner, so I kind of did a play and sewed on my own banner, and it continues on to the other page. And then this is the center of the signature. I need to add some things to my strings, whoops. Here's the other side of the banner. Thought that was really fun. And that tracing paper, I love the sound. I thought the scrapbook paper was gorgeous and went well with the kit, with the gold foiling. This is a journal, journaling card, love it. Love the blue and the yellow. And then on this page, I made a Gail, I can't pronounce her last name. Um, anyway, she recently, uh, I can link her, her YouTube down below. She made this faux front envelope recently on her YouTube channel and I thought it was super cute. So I made one to go in this journal and then I added some tags little tags and then a glassine bag and then here are some more tags super super cute and then it's supposed to lay flat but because I have it stuffed with tags it doesn't really lay flat as well but again her YouTube channel has a great tutorial on how to make those um, and I thought it was really fun it's like an envelope flip book but small. <laughs> uh, another tag and a tuck spot. This is part of her kit. And this is awesome. <laughs> this just kind of worked out. So this lace and trim actually held the lace and trim that's in the book. And it was sitting on my desk and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awesome and vintagey. And I, so I just sewed it in as a tuck spot. And I thought it went well with the colors in her kit. And I, down here I just layered some flowers, a little dimension, a very fragile, dent, gentle tuck spot right there. <laughs> More of the scrapbook paper. And then here I used um, some fabric and I made a little fabric tuck. Second signature, here's a little tuck down here with some fabric and sewing. Some leisure paper, some lace on some copy dyed paper. I love this lace, so fun. Another uh, Patricia Fermanti envelope and this has um, one, two, 
three tuck spots because the lace is also a tuck spot. And I added some journaling cards. Another page from the kit, and I just made a fabric tab. And here's a Western Union envelope she had, and I did some, added some lace, some tags, did some coffee dyeing, some serious coffee dyeing on this page. And I folded it and did some stamping. And here is an envelope and the kit that I just kind of added, and you can add some stuff in there. I really love that sound of the tracing paper. I think tracing paper is my new paper, favorite paper to dye. And then music page, a journaling card, and I made a fabric tag, used one of her flowers, uh, some scrapbook paper, another one of her telegram journaling cards, a little tuck, use some fabric scraps, and then this is a ticket from her kit. Tracing paper. Here's the other side with some stamping, and I tucked in some cards. The other side of that paper. Here's a journaling card from her kit. And those flowers, aren't they beautiful? They're so pretty. More of the paper from her kit. Here's the other side of that lace. Ledger paper. Another telegram. And then the beautiful bird on that page. All right, and then in here, I made, oops, so we can get it out. A little tuck spot for one of her journaling cards. And this is a little envelope. Kit had lots of fun envelopes. I need to add something to that envelope. This would be a cool place for a photo. And then you could put some of the memorabilia that went with that day in the envelope. That'd be fun. Uh, did some stamping. There's more flowers. Another fabric pocket with some journaling cards. Some lace. And I added some scrapbook paper to the back of the page, more stamping, another little envelope, a little tuck, and a copy dyed doily, lace. Here's a little corner tuck. Some lace, floral, little fabric flip. Another page, some lace, more stamping, and I added one of her tags onto a piece of fabric, and that's the last page. Isn't that fun? And there it is. Um, I will have the links to Tsunami Rose Designs uh, in the description below. If you like this journal, uh, please give me a comment what you liked. If you like the video, give me a like, and I would, of course, love for you to subscribe. Um, have a wonderful day, and I can't wait for the next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>